thing that to me that was uh, the most exciting part of the library work at UNLV was one, to get to work on UNLV's campus. But second, the most important thing was how, the, how passionate the library staff was about their endeavor and what they were trying to do. One of the first projects we did with the library was sort of a big master plan to look at all the spaces that needed to be repurposed after the library had been open for 10 years. So um, there was sort of a chain reaction of space needs and um, departments that were growing and needed to move. So I inherited a building that was fairly new, it was only five years old, and it's a beautiful building. And uh, there were just a couple of things that were missing, um, I thought. And so uh, some of the things that were missing um, had to do with staff areas. One of the um, most important projects was the growth of special collections, and it's a growing department in the library, probably the fastest growing department in the library and they needed additional space for their collection storage and intake. One of the ways that libraries, specifically our library, continues to grow physically through our collections is special collections because we don't have a historical space within Las Vegas that's responsible for documenting the region. We are the resource, the archive, for documenting the history of Southern Nevada. One of the uh, opportunities we had was the laser floor, where we were actually able to then repurpose it as a processing space. And we recreated an intake area for special collections with shelving and some workstations, computer stations, so that their staff would be comfortable to sort of work on these huge collections that get dropped off to them. So they go through and they process and they decide what goes in storage and what perhaps goes um, upstairs in within their department for easy retrieval. Some of the spaces we needed to repurpose because the students were telling us they needed them repurposing. They had multiple devices that they're bringing to campus so suddenly the need for electrical outlets, something so mundane, mundane as electrical outlets became a driving force and the explosion in group study was really a driver in the, way, in the need to sort of have more flexible kind of furniture. So that was another reason that you know, we, a need that we knew we had to pursue. So we've done observation studies, we've done focus groups, we've put up uh, flip chart pads in places asking questions about how they use the space. We ask them about noise levels and what they consider to be noisy and not noisy. And you know what you end up finding out is that they want it all. Um, they want that whole range of diverse experiences within the building. Um, and we didn't have enough diversity. Um, they want the space that's noisy. They want the place that, where they can talk and have their group. They want the space where it's quiet for when the times that they need to be quiet, you know? They want, they always want to be able to bring their food and drinks, right? The third driver was that we wanted to have the opportunity to invite the community in to have um, intellectual and cultural events that would both showcase our resources um, educate a bit, maybe uh, entertain a bit, um, and also just kind of do that outreach to the community. And we didn't have that space. So the room can be set up in so many different ways because they really, they don't have um, one way of ever doing a meeting and the meeting has to be so versatile for all the different functions that the library has. So Goldfield was actually designed to be this elegant, beautiful space where we can invite our community in. But you can't do anything um, in any kind of a programming without having technology uh, be pervasive. And we didn't want the, the technology to overwhelm. So um, it was a wonderful partnership between LGA and our uh, AV group on campus to help to design the solutions that would kind of hide the technology a bit. They we're not just trying to remodel a library. They're trying to transform a library. Very exciting. They had a good library to begin with, but the world has changed since that library was, was built. And the way students interact with that library, the way information is delivered to people uh, has changed a lot. And so her uh, goal was to create that place to better serve her customers.